Oh, we're starting? Uh, yeah, sorry. Okay, what's the first question? <laughs> so the first time I actually met Rahila, God, she was so cute. The one thing I remember the most is she kept, you know, brushing her hair away from her face, you know, and I thought it was the cutest thing. I felt really comfortable around him and, you know, he kept me happy and I knew at that moment that I wanted to get to know him more and, um, you know, be with him. So growing up when we were first going out as friends, Rahila and I would spend a lot of time at Oyster Creek with a lot of our friends. And we'd go over there, we'd just play some games. It was a place that, you know, really grew on us as well. You didn't have a lot of distractions. So when you didn't have a lot of distractions and when you're with someone, you really get to focus just on that person and really listen to what they have to say and really get to know that person. And I think that that's what Oyster Creek really brought. <laughs> Beauty is everywhere you look, in every page of every book. But all the words in the world don't even compare to the beauty of this girl. Each time she smiles, all the bright flowers shine. To see her, I would walk a thousand miles. I wonder if she'll ever be mine. All the stars in the streaming velvet skies don't even compare to the shine in her eyes. The day she looked into my eyes felt better than any surprise. Beauty is Beauty's everywhere, everywhere you are, you are even, even in the, in the further star. star, but all the stars lit up above don't even match the one of my love. Even if she thinks she even deserves she more, she deserves I'll give her much more, more than she can adore. At every heartbeat, I miss her more and more. I wish I could just hear her soft voice every day, but the moment I do, it takes my breath away. The words leave my tongue not knowing what to say. In my dreams, she is all that I see. The day my heart will truly see hers, that day my soul will be free. For now she is away, if too late be that day, my heart would have already left its dwelling place before I see her beautiful face, if she doesn't feel this way. But the greatest beauty of all is her beauty, which lies in my heart. But the greatest beauty of all is heart. her beauty, which lies in my heart. When I first gave Rahila the poem, she absolutely loved it. Uh, she just, I, I think for a second she probably thought for a while that, hey, you know, maybe I should write something back. It's almost like, you know, uh, she needs to give some sort of response to this. Because like, like I said before, it was the equivalent of me asking her out. He wrote the poem for me back in high school when we were like talking. It was something that he wanted to share his thoughts and feelings for me and I thought it was really sweet. What a little bastard. <laughs> I really enjoy being with Rahila. I mean, just having her with me, doesn't matter where we are or what we're doing. Just knowing that she's there, I really feel this sense of comfort. With everything that's going on all around me and you know the stress of trying to handle so many different things all the time. But when I'm with her, I feel this calm. And uh, that's what I really enjoy being with her. We've been together for nine years. We, um, you know, been talking ever since we got introduced from our mutual friends. We are thankful for them that they helped us find each other. And it's been great nine years together and I can't wait to spend more time with them. Everyone deals with stress. Everyone deals with issues of life. But there's very few places where we find peace. And I found my peace with her. And that's what I really look forward to. After marriage, I feel like I'm finally gonna be at peace because I'm gonna be with her. Is that good? Yeah.